of Bring Our War Dollars Home is a main founded campaign composed of individuals and organizations to inform people that our state's fiscal crisis is in large part due to the current spending on the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Good evening. I'm a veteran. I've been listening to and viewing the actions of this body, trying to minimize the impact of the loss of revenue to the town and put together a budget. Why are town employees voluntarily, voluntarily reducing their benefit packages? Why are town personnel being asked to take early retirement? Why are retirement plans of employees being affected? Why are hours and services being cut? Why are funds for human needs, education, health care, and social services being cut? Why is this happening? The normal revenue flow from our federal government to our state government and to our, our town government has been dramatically reduced. Why? Why indeed? In large part, it is to fund the military activity in Iraq and Afghanistan and Pakistan. Since 2001, these awards have cost the U.S. taxpayers nearly $1 trillion, that's with a capital T, and that is a one followed by 12 zeros. Main share is more than $2.5 billion, that's with a B. Freeport's losses are about $2 million $638,000 a year for expenditures supporting the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. Freeport has lost $24.1 million, that's $1 million, to the war since 2001. What could Freeport have done with the $2.6 million each year? provide health care to 7,577 of our citizens for a year. Note that our governor, John Baldacci, has proposed more than $438 million in additional <coughs> cuts to state social spending. These cuts will also affect our town and many of our citizens who need help, including those who require homemaking services, reducing number of hours of care a severely disabled person may receive, cuts to mental health outpatient therapy for children and adults, and cutting the main re residence property tax and rent refund program by restricting eligibility. I have used examples that show how our entire community is ne negatively impacted by the loss of these funds. I am urging you to think about and take action to support the restoration of these funds. The time for hunkering down, wringing our hands, and saying what's next is over. It is time to say to, our, say to our state and federal government, enough. We the people need the funds restored so that we may meet the needs of our citizens. Three towns, Solon, that's our school committee, Deer Isle, and Portland, have passed our Bring Our War Dollars Home resolution, and several others are considering such action. I hope that Freeport will also pass the Bring Our War Dollars Home resolution in a timely fashion so that it can be in the hands of Representative Pingree prior to a vote for an additional $33 billion, with a B, dollars in funding for the wars. Freeport's share of this additional money is $760,000. I hope that my appearance and presentation this evening will shed some light on the financial pickle we are in and provide a reasonable method to alleviate the negative financial and social issues created by the diversion of funds for the Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan wars. Thank you for listening, and I do hope that you will have a full, open, and frank discussion regarding this issue. Please take action to bring our war dollars home to Freeport.